Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Joe Usual and this is The Long Dark. Hope you all are doing good today. I'm having a great morning. And today we're going to go ahead and we're going to go out. We're going back to Mystery Lake and I'm going to go ahead and make some more arrows. We're going to go ahead and regroup. I'm going to uh, drop a couple deer. We're going to try to get our, our cooking up to level five if I can. I don't know if I can. I've got about 100 pieces of meat I got I to gotta, I gotta, uh, cook. So we're going to see what we can do about that. But before we begin, let's go ahead and say hello to everybody who said something before we started. Big Run Beast, how are you doing? Kuja, hello. Canadian Guy 18, Bookworm Run, Bailey's in the house. Wally's here, Article 5, Daniel Marino. Ian, how you doing? Brooklyn Bella, I'm glad to hear you're feeling a little better there, Bella. Uh, Tamina, hello, hello. And Melora777. Obi-Wan Karabi's in the house. Andrea's here. Dave Corbin's here. Let's see who else is here. Who else is here? Matt Fry, how you doing, buddy? Um, and RMK1068. Okay, I think I said hello to everybody. If I missed you, say hello, and I will say hello back. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy right here, and we'll get going. All right, so here we go. We are currently in Pleasant Valley at the homestead. And hey, squirrel, what's up? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we got a we got a storm outside, so it's gonna be a minute. I don't have I got oh I've got cattails. Should I eat my cattails? We'll eat a few cattails. Just to keep us going, because Oh I got two gallons of water. We gotta get rid of that water. Let's go ahead and check our clothing right quick though. We need four cattails. So I'm sorry you've been absent. Don't, I mean, don't, you don't have to apologize to me. This is like college, man. If you don't show up, it's not, I mean, it's up to you. It's on you. And life happens, so I get it. What's the day? What's the day? Today is day 64. So we're not even 100 days in, guys. Over 500 days. So all the bad things have happened to us already. Let's, um, I already got par parasites. We won't do that again. We hope. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go check our clothing. 98, 92, 100, 99, 98, 100, 93, 88. I might want to fix that. Uh, so, okay, we need our socks fixed. Probably want those fixed. Probably want that fixed. So let's go ahead and take some time here and repair the pants first. And then we're gonna go ahead and we'll fix our socks. For this storm to stop. Let's see. We'll fix this guy. While we have the cloth, we may as well do it. And let's see about my shoes here. Actually, that's 88%. That's probably okay. I think we're all right. We're at 41 degrees above. That's okay. All right, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and go. Let's run through our, our our inventory right quick and let's see what I don't need. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Um, I don't need 27 sticks. We're gonna drop um, all of those. Let's see here. How is my actually? How's my hacksaw looking? Where's my hacksaw? 98 percent. All right. In that case, I don't need this. Piece. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go downstairs and make a couple more hooks. Let's make some more fishing line. I might need some fishing line. Let's go downstairs. Make a couple more hooks. What's a fishing lure? It's, oh, that's just one scrap metal is all? Oh, I see. I can make three hooks or I can make one fishing lure. Um, no, we'll make a fishing hooks. That's fine. Okay, and we'll make, that'll give me four hooks, so we need four lines, so we're going to craft those. So I had an extra hook. Um, 
I'll worry about the arrow shafts once we get to the dam. I'm not worried about that right now. Oh, do we have potatoes and carrots? There's a couple carrots. That's another carrot. I wonder if this bag of potatoes has got anything in it. We might cook some potatoes while we're waiting for this storm to stop. No, that's empty. Okay. All right. Hey, Don, what's up, man? Okay, it sounds like it, our storm may... The wind's still whipping, but I think the storm may have, may have uh, died off. I'll make my fishing uh, line here in a little bit. I can make that in my inventory, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and let's put... Let's put this away, because it's empty. It's gone. And... I think we're good there. I'm not going to keep all this water. Let's go ahead and have a drink. Actually, these are 84%. I think I'm going to be good at eating these. We should be fine. I'm going to drop that other carrot, though. This will give me some calories. And we'll go ahead and drop that. And let's also drop... Drop like a 1.3. There we go. Now we're looking better. Clothing wise, that's everything I need. Uh, though I don't need this wool ear wrap anymore. So I'm going to drop it. I'm not going to destroy it, but we're going to drop it. Um, that's okay there. I only have two. two well, I've got three uh, painkillers here. That's okay. And I'll keep. Actually, we're going to have coal in a minute. Actually, no, I'm going to hang on to that. We're, that's fine. I think we're good. Let's just see. Um, let me go ahead and grab this cooking oil, too. I'm going to grab... I'm going to take that with me. Because if we find some flour, I want to be able to make bannock. All right, we're good. Is it still whipping out there? Yeah, it, it is. We got to wait. Do potatoes and corn and stuff like that go into pies respawn? No, they don't. No, they don't. So, and that's one of the things about, um, I mean, I mean, obviously in re real life they wouldn't respawn, but um, but they go bad really quickly too. So it's not, it's not my, that's why some of these recipes I don't care for. Well, I don't know what to do here. Um, oh, you know what, we can make fish in line, I guess. Fish and tackle. Maybe the storm will stop. Sounded like it stopped. Let's give it one more. Let's make one more. We'll make a couple more, actually. Just let that let, let the let that weather settle for a second. Let it get a little warmer outside. Okay, now we've got six tackle again. So we got something we can do here. Um, I think I'm going to grab maybe one more piece of cloth. Oh, now I've got a, 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 an affliction, huh? How about I drink that? Is that going to help? Maybe I'll just take one. Maybe I'll just take one of these. They weigh quite a bit. All right, let's head out. Yeah, I'm sure the trader will once they put the trader in the game. All right, we're two arrows down. What's in here? Got anything in here? Got a little accelerant. That's cool. I never checked that uh, that burn barrel either. By the way, the burn barrel at my house looks exactly like this. It's exactly like that. I mean, it's not a it's not a tire, uh, it's not it's not a rim, but um, it's a it's a half of a 55 gallon drum we picked up at the uh, at the scrapyard, and I and then I I brought some uh, bolt cutters and and uh, found some thick wire mesh that that they had, and I was like. Can I cut it up? And they're like, yeah, cut it up. We'll, we'll charge you for whatever. Then they didn't charge me for it, which was cool. So I've got, I've got a couple of grates, and that's what I use to burn my trash. Oh, they're putting a trader in the game? Yeah, 
I don't know what you're talking about, D. Is that because you think it's going to make it too easy? Is that what you're trying to say? Don't be obtuse, man. Say what you really mean. You make about 40 of those pits a year. Why would you make 40 of them in a year? Explain yourself, sir. Now, mind you, the trader's probably going to be in a remote region. And it's going to be hard to get to him. So it's not like it's going to be like something you can, you can, it's probably going to be in a spot where there's not going to be any resources um, and, or many resources. And, and so when you go in there, you're going to have to go in there with, you know, a ton of gear, probably with a Travoy to even make it worth your time. Against the spirit of the game, no. I, I, we can agree to disagree, but I don't agree with, that, with, with, with your view on that. I'm fine with it. Let's slip over here right quick. Let's grab these cattails first, though. That's some dinner. Oh, your brother owns a campground. Now that makes sense. And then every year they, uh, but the tourists uh, burn them up, right? So you have to replace them every year. Now that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And what currency? They're probably going to trade for wolf, uh, wolf pelts, and uh, hopefully they have a system where you offer, and then they, 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 and you ask you. It's an offer and ask system where you offer what you have. They, uh, they, uh, they, they, they say, okay, they think it's worth this much, and then you barter. Probably a barter system. I doubt they're going to use the Canadian money. Hey, new dog food. That's great. Nothing there. Okay. Well, in the game, they have people. I mean, in the in the story mode, they have people there. So, I mean, and it's not, you know, it's not a stretch of the imagination to believe that you would have um, that there would be other people alive. A wolf pelt for ten stones. No, 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 no. More like, more like, um, he trade you ten wolf pelts for, um, or well, like, like maybe two or three wolf, or wolf pelts for a can of food or something. Twenty wolf, twenty, twenty pelts for a, for a, a hatchet or a knife. It's it'll be expensive. They probably have gold nuggets too. They probably have both, Karabi. I don't know why they wouldn't allow both. That, that would be stu That would be silly. I'm going to call it stupid, but it'd be silly to not allow you to trade things to the trader. You probably get a better deal if it's gold. But I, I don't know that I that I would agree with it just being gold. Because unless they have gold uh, in the in the creeks and in the uh, in, in next to the lakes, or in cabinets or things like that that you can find, it's not. That's not going to be um, a viable option for me. I've only found one gold nugget ever in this game, only once. I think they took them out of the game. Oh, I imagine Wally. I imagine that's what I, I just said. He's going to be in a, in a location where you're, you're not. It's going to be hard to get to. There's a wolf over there. Let's go this way. Backing off of this berm because I don't want to. You want to go over the go over this ridge, and all of a sudden there's a 
freaking wolf there. Yeah, right. I think that's the, that's going to be the whole point is because you know we have all these recipes, and uh, Kuja said uh, my guess would be it'd be most helpful for things that don't respawn, and you have all these recipes for things, but then either you use it up or the food goes bad and you, then you can't use it, and it just makes sense to be able to have some you know a trader that would allow you to have all the stuff to you know to re up on your on your food supply. Okay, that's a deer. I heard some skittering going on. I thought it might have been a wolf. All right. <laughs> well, when they do that, I was just laughing about, about you pulling gold teeth out of, out of, out of the, uh, the, the cor corpses. We got silver fillings. We got gold fillings today there, boss. What, you, what can this get me? Rattle, rattle, rattle. You got this this leather bag with all these teeth in it. All right. Yeah, you should be able you should be able to grab uh, gr grab boots off the dead. You should be able to pull the clothes off the uh, off the corpses. Maybe because their bodies are so frozen, you'd have to cut their feet off to get the boots. Thaw out their their thaw out their their feet inside the boots. Like a bag of Yahtzee dice. Yep. Dungeons and Dragons dice, man. I got D20s. I got D4s. Hey, man, you want to play Rollies? If you're a critter, you know what I'm talking about. Better than an ear necklace? It would be a tooth necklace. A gold and silver tooth necklace. Okay, 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 okay. Why would you get a negative why would you get a negative status effect from it? I mean unless it's like a hygiene issue. Oh, we got doubles we got double sticks in here, I forgot about that. I'm not going to spend a ton of... Oh, actually, I probably do want to spend a ton, a ton of time picking up coal. Because... If I have any... Did I get this? Yeah. Because we're, if we're going to drop those two deer that are back there in the cave, then... I'm going to need to cook them up. Did I left and leave another one? Well, I'm not going back. It's funny. Same thing. Uh, the same kind of comment came out of uh, my my Nightingale mini series. Oh, that's two pieces of coal. So they didn't fix it. They didn't fix it. Okay. So um, anyway, my Nightingale played through this this commenter yesterday said, "You missed a chest." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, they gave me two and a half days to play that game. So I was running around a little bit faster than I wanted to. Whatever. I always miss stuff. You need to slow down. No, I don't need to slow down. Stop telling me that because it'll never happen. Never happen. 100%. Guarantee you. Got to get things done. If I miss an item or two, then unless it's something that's like quest related, then I then I then I'm, I I'll go back. Foot soup in the boots. Yum yum. All right. Still have a small hypothermia risk, but I think we're gonna be okay. One arrow down on the heat, so that's great. Oh, nausea from dead man boots. Oh, 
The Ickians smell bad? They smell like old people. How many people in here do not uh, shop at thrift stores because they because they think the clothes smell like old people? And let's be honest, if you go to a thrift store and you buy a coat or a pair of pants or a hat or something like that, chances are it came out of somebody's house after they died. Yeah, it was pre-recorded the days prior. I know. Yeah. It just had to make it. I think I really think that uh, I mean not not you, Melora. I mean you were you were just letting me know that, and I appreciate that. But but I th really think some people just say uh, just you know just rude stuff like that because they want to make themselves feel better and superior, and that's okay. They I mean you know some people don't have a lot in their lives and that's that and, and they need that. So I've just come to the conclusion that that's what it is. Maybe somebody had a bad day and they, they needed to feel them, make themselves feel better because they noticed something that I didn't. It's all right. It's already too late once I've recorded the video. Because I'm long, long past that once, once you see it. Like, we're gonna, what we're going to do is I'm going, when Nightingale comes out, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to play it on Twitch for at least the first week so you guys can get the drops and then I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to go and I'm going to put it up on YouTube so um, if anybody has a comment oh look at that fog just it just literally like I snapped my fingers the fog rolled in that's dumb no gradual or anything anyway so by the time somebody makes a comment like that it's way too late like I, I mean, if you want to make a comment like that, you got to tell me. You got to be there on on Twitch when I when I when I when I record this stuff. And otherwise, oh look at it, and it's blue skies too. Uh, I wonder if I have enough. Five minutes. Let's do it. Hopefully, I don't get a wolf right next to me. But it's only five minutes. Should be fine. Uh, yeah, we're always searching for a moose, bud. But yes, I am searching for a moose for the moose backpack. But right now we we're, we're, we have to re up our arrows. I've got all my arrowheads over here, and then we got to drop some deer because I'm going to need some food. That wolf should have gone right over to where I where I was harvesting. He shouldn't bother me. I don't think. I don't. Oh, no, he's over there. He's just now smelling me. It's okay. We should be able to get there. Do I have any coffee on me? I don't have any coffee made. This might be kind of weird. He might be able to catch up with me. Because I'm really tired. I just got to make it to the top before he gets to me. I heard him, but I don't see him. We might be okay. This is too slow. I need to do this. Huh. Huh. To Robbie, I just saw your comment. That's funny. Oh, yeah, no, I'm I'm I 100% don't care about about wearing old people clothes i i found i found when i was in high school i used to wear a trench coat all the time um that was my i was weird i had kind of a signature thing going on with john lennon sunglasses and 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 um and trench coats and army boots that's how i dressed Combat pants, either black or, ca or, 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 or camouflage, and then whatever t-shirt I was wearing. But I found, I found uh, many a trench coat at the thrift store for way cheap. Pea coat, too. I found a pea coat that I really liked, too. Just like it that's in this game.
Hang on. I'll read chat in a second. I've got to get past this dam. Because I'm... You dressed in a uniform. Oh, what you had a you went to you went to what'd you go? You go to Catholic school or something? A Mac and a jacket? <laughs> no. I too am not buying a Mac uh, buying a jacket for six hundred and seventy dollars. You can kiss my butt. The only reason I've got the nice jacket that I've got right now is because my mom bought it uh, for my birthday. And it's basically like a like a Carhartt jacket with a hood. It's a different brand. And it's got a better liner than a Carhartt does. But it's got the same type of exterior, thick, uh, thick canvas cloth. I'm literally, when I'm walking in the snow, I'm sweating. It's it's so good. Where was I in the Breakfast Club back then? What are you, what are you talking about? I mean, I remember the Breakfast Club, but I, I didn't really care for that movie so much. It was fine. I mean, you know. Molly Ringwald had her day. Judd Nelson, too, but... None of you don't see any of those people anymore. Well, I don't know what a comp is. You wore concert shirts? Yeah, I grew up in the in the days of uh, Metallica, ACDC, and Guns N' Roses. The Bengals. Walk like an Egyptian. You're welcome, because that'll be in your head all day. <laughs> Comprehensive school. I don't know what that is. We don't have that. I mean, we probably have something similar in, in, uh, in the U.S., but we don't call it that, so I don't know what that is. Is that an advanced school? Is it a... Uh, is it, is it a... Um, is it a... Is it a school for special special people? I don't understand. Schools in the UK have all have uniforms? Yeah, yeah. They they we have a dress code in in the US now, uh, but just to just to keep things down. But we don't actually have quote unquote uniforms unless you're in a private school. Your hair was down to your knees. I was not allowed to have long hair when I was growing up. Or a mustache, or a goatee, or any piercings, or any tattoos. I was not allowed to have any of that stuff. My stepfather was a, uh, he, he was a, um, let's see, how can I put this? Uh, he was a redneck. He was a bigot. He was a racist. Thank God I got out of that. I broke that cycle. My father was, was a bigot and a racist too. Oh my gosh, look at all these saplings, yo. Turn this off. And there is my flower that I was hoping I would see. Okay. That's cool, man. I'm gonna take that flower and that salt, I guess. I don't really need the salt, but it's in here. Nothing. All right, let's go ahead and put this stuff. I mean, it's getting dark. We'll probably sleep. No, I got to cook this meat up. All right, so I've got a ton of saplings. I've got 17 saplings times three. Uh, wait, that that can't be right. Oh, it's 50, 52, 52, 53 with this guy, 53 arrow shafts. So what we can do and what we're going to do is I am going to um, I'm going to get my archery up to level uh, maybe level five today. I think. Oh, it won't fit. Hang on. I'll put it.
put this in the top cabinet then. I have enough I have enough saplings that we can we can get our archery up to level five today. I didn't realize that, but we can. Alright, so what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're gonna go like this, and like that, put that there. And then oh I should have fixed my bedroll and made it hundred percent. God dang it. That's fine. Okay, let's go out here and let's uh, start a fire. Haha, -ha, Cyrus! I won! You're welcome. Actually, let's go downstairs. We'll go downstairs. That means you listened to it when you were a kid. If it's in your head. Actually, let me pick this up just in case we get an aurora while I'm down there. I don't think I will, but I'm gonna, I gotta eat this, I gotta cook this meat up so we have enough to last the night. But anyway, Big Ron, once I got out of high school and I, and I, and I left, I started growing my hair out. And then, wonder of wonders, when I hit about 25, my hair started falling out the top of my head. So I started making I started making the joke. I was like, "Man, when my hair gets long enough, I'm just gonna flip it up on top of my head and super glue it to my forehead. No one will ever know." Kind of like uh, Asmund Gold does. Okay. You guys know who Asmund Gold is? He's a Twitch streamer. And uh, do I want to use that? Nah. We use this torch. Does it say improvised? I thought it said improved. We have the one. Hang on. Since we're going to cook this, we'll make some bannock too. That'll do. I'm going to save my coal. We're uh I got an hour. We can do we can do a half batch of water. Thirty-six, no. Twenty-four. There we go. Yeah, we're good. Seven minutes are ready. We're gonna take those and we'll make some water here too. Yeah, we're good. Pick this up, pick that up. Pick up the torch. It's all butt, man. Let's go. I'm super heavy though. Hopefully we don't get an aurora in the middle of this. I'll be okay, though, if we do. You're 51, you're starting to thin, but you still have a full head of hair. Good for you. I mean, I just, I just, I got to the point, I, I up at, when I, up until, uh, I, guess, I guess about a year ago, I had long hair. Um, I, I, I go through these periods of time where I, I let it grow out, and then I, and then I cut it. Cause I don't know why, I just, I think, over the course of time, sometimes I forget th that I'm, I, that I'm, I look like shit with long hair now. So I let it grow out, and then when last year I just cut it all off, shaved my head, called it a day. Well, aren't you special, article? I'm not jealous at all. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we've got uh, uh, 84, 99, 99 here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to eat. Let's see, that's that's 480 on that. So we'll eat these bannocks. And so I've got 18 more batches of bannock I can use off this cooking oil. 
which is nice. Let's eat that. That's 692. That's more than I need. We'll save this dog food for later. Drink this water. What about the crafting menu? I don't know. I can read it right there. It says improvised. You're right. It should say improved. Are we good? We should be fine. There's the Aurora. I knew it. I knew they were going to hit me with the electricity. Jim Crocher, you mean time in a bottle? Uh, not to go cosmetology, but uh, would, would layering maybe help? What are you talking about? You got good hair from your mom? You got good hair from your mother's... <clears throat> excuse me. You got good hair from your mother's father. That's where you get it from. <laughs> According to what they understand. You, you get it from your mother's father. Um, so if they... Like my grandfather on my mom's side didn't have any... He, he lost all of his hair. Uh, when, and I, so that I got I got the same issue. So. Go three more hours. Okay, I think we're good. So what I'm going to do here, guys... Well, I need more food. I've got enough for one more night. Um, I'm going to leave this bedroll where it's at. All right, so what we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to... I'm going to take all the time I can here. Transfer all. Do I have... Do I have my, my... My... Did I leave... Oh, no. I left my toolbox behind. Oh, no. I left my toolbox back there. All right, we got to find a blue toolbox, guys. I think there's one upstairs. Uh, we gotta go. That's not cool. Maybe there's one here. Did I leave a toolbox behind here? Could have sworn. I left my red toolbox. That's not cool. So it's gonna take me a little longer to make things now. Yeah, for some reason, um, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't affect women as much as it affects men. But like my, um, but like my wife, she's got, uh, muscular dystrophy. And, um, and that makes your hair fall out. And she got that from on her mother's side. If you, if you if your family line's got muscular dystrophy, as a woman, your, your hair's probably going to come out. So... But fortunately, my wife has embraced the, uh, I mean, I say fortunately, for her, makes her, I don't give it, I don't care. She could be Sinead O'Connor, uh, short hair, and I wouldn't care, dude. She'd shave her head tomorrow, and it'd be fine. But, um, but she, she wears wigs, um, because she's self-conscious about it. But that's okay. I'm... I am holding my breath for science to catch up with muscular dystrophy. Here we go. That's what I wanted. I need that, man. I need a toolbox, even if it's blue. You say that hair loss and virility go together? I mean, that's never been a problem for me, so I guess, maybe. I haven't had to take the little blue pill yet, so. And I say yet, knock on some wood, man. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Either way, however you get the job done.
High testosterone to fix hair loss? Hmm. You've earned them both? Me too. And my mustache and beard have gone snow white, but I, I also I also attribute that to taking re recreational pharmaceuticals as a child. Like if you've if you've ever come across anybody who's done any any amount of, of uh, you know of amphetamines in their life, um, most of them have white hair. I think that affects your your hair your hair coloration I, later in life. Like even if you, they stopped like 30 years ago and they don't do any they don't do that stuff anymore. I I I thoroughly believe that 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 you, if you if you did it for any length of time in your youth, your hair is going to turn white. I've seen too many examples examples of that. I was around a lot of people who did a lot of drugs. All right, so now that we now see there's a patch on there now. See now there's a patch on my bedroll. Now I got to start looking at it and, and thinking maybe I should I should fix that bedroll. All right. I know it's weird. It's like you know you lose you lose all your hair on your head, but then all of a sudden your arm arms your back your legs your your your, your butt. It all get it, all of a sudden you turn into a bush from the neck down. I don't understand what's going on with that. That's really weird. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make all the arrow shafts. 98, 56. We're gonna use our, our, our knife. We're gonna make all the arrow shafts. This is gonna take a minute. How long have I been growing my beard? Um, well, I know. I, I, well, actually, here's the thing: is like uh, about well, right now the la has been about a month, and it's back where you, you guys well, see my my uh, when you see the um, the Homestead Channel videos. That's about a month's worth of growth. And I use a I use a um, I use you know hair hair clippers, you know the electric hair clippers. To trim my trim my uh, my stuff up, you know, like they use at the at the at the barber shops. Yeah, I have a pair of that. I, I forget what what brand it is. All right, so we gotta hang on. It takes an hour for each one of these, so I'm not gonna be able to get all this done. Um, how many arrowheads do I have again? I have eleven, and we've got twenty five. So what I can do is uh, t as of tomorrow. We can go ahead and we can make all, we can make two sets of arrows. Let's see, what time is it? We have a little bit of time. Let me go ahead and make, let me make some arrows right quick. Let's see, one point, uh, see, I, we lose a lot, man. I'm going to craft as many arrows as it'll let me. Let's go ahead and drink some water, though. Oh, I already drank my water. Okay, so. All right. It'll stop me when it gets too dark. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and make it over here. And we're gonna drink. We're gonna eat this guy at ninety-seven percent. That's gonna be good. We've got two more days worth of food, and then I got to start worrying about it. But I think we're gonna be fine. Long and bushy. I mean, I've got straight hair, so I don't know about that. So let's go ahead and let's eat. That'll be 650. And then the next one will be 800. Okay. So I'm going to drink our water. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to make some more water. We're going to, I think we'll do what we can tomorrow until I get thirsty again. How Zeus still no change? He's 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 feeling better. He's eating. Um, I had to. I, I I cooked up a bunch of chicken, and made chicken broth for him. And I and I and I I taken like I put like two or three pieces of chicken in in the chicken meat in in his dog food. And I add the chicken broth. I made bone broth for him, and it really really helped him out quite a bit. 
Okay. So we got to wait just until the sun passes the line there. And one more. Right there. That's good. Now we can start making arrows again. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have shown you my my uh, my archery skill. I'm at archery two, and now th that that right there is probably from making those arrows. So now you see where we're at. Cooking is a three a four and three quarters. We're really close. So I want to say we have 50 more pieces of meat to cook. If I can kill both of the deer, um, that's going to give me about. See, it's I think it's is it eight pieces or ten pieces per deer. So if it's a buck, I think there's a buck and a doe back there. Uh, so we're looking at if I cut them, if I do 1.1s, so 16, we're going to be really close. And then I can go fishing and we can get our cooking up to level five. So that's my, that's my game plan is to get, uh, my archery up to level five and my cooking up to level five today, if I can. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and finish up these, uh, I can do six arrows and there's 6.7 hours. Okay. I got I got a drink. When we start getting thirsty, I'm going to have to go back to the cave and make some water. Because I'm going to also need uh, the, I think I've got some, uh, some whetstones back at the cave. So we're going to have at least one whetstone. And I, I need to sharpen my knife and my hatchet. Let's make these arrows. Cabin fever risk is fine. Okay, so that right there, uh, I've got 14 arrow shafts left. Um, so now we look at our, at our, at our, um, archery and look at that we went 25 percent up just from making those few arrows that we did <clears throat> excuse me so I, I may not be able to get to archery five we're going to definitely get to archery three maybe archery four um but that's how that's one of the ways you can do it without even shooting but we might actually make some we might actually make some um what do you call it some fire hardened arrows because i do have a bunch of feathers left like i still have Oh, wait, hang on. Do I not have any more feathers? Is that all the feathers I have? I thought I had a bunch more left. I guess I don't. All right, so it's midday. Let's go see what we can do about... Let's put this back. Let's put these back. I don't think... I, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I am going to make it to uh, level 5 cooking. I mean, level 5 archery today. We might make it to level 5 cooking, though. And put that feather in there. All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it. How many how many arrows do I have? I've got 20 arrows, or 8, 19 arrows on me. So that's cool. I don't need 19 arrows, though. damn crows at? Where's the body? Oh, it's right here. Seventy-nine. <clears throat> okay, so I, I've, I've lost my bonus, which is fine. But the temperature is perfect for deer hunting right now, so we're going to go hunt a deer. The only car wreck I've ever been in was uh, when I was 16 years old, right after I got my first truck. I worked all summer to buy that truck, and um, and a little Toyota red, a little red Toyota truck, little baby truck, and I was coming back from work, and I, and was, of course this is back when we had tape decks, and you had to flip the tape. Remember that? Remember when you had to flip the cassette to get to the other side? I, I was following this guy, and um, I didn't think I was following too close, so but anyway, so I, I looked down for a second to flip the tape because it was over. 
And when I looked up, he had slammed on his brakes and I rear-ended him. And it ruined my truck, like two weeks after I got it. Um, so anyway, so he, I hit him so hard. Of course, this is back before they had the seatbelt law. He wasn't wearing his seatbelt. Uh, he slammed his head into the back of his back windshield and it shattered his windshield. He came out unscathed. I mean, I'm sure he had a concussion, but he said he was okay. Uh, it totaled my truck. It probably bent his frame because I hit him hard. But there were puppies in the middle of the road. He slammed on his brakes and, uh, and, I, didn't, and I wasn't looking when, it, when I saw it, or when, when, he ha when it happened. So I didn't see it. So it was a nightmare. It was bad. And my job was 10 miles away, so I, I lost my job. And I didn't have a vehicle. And we lived out in the country. So I went back to working for my damn stepfather in his mechanic shop. Until I could convince my mother to let me, um, let me uh, go back to being in a restaurant. And she had to come pick me up. Or my sister. Stepsister. All right, let's go ahead and let's drop all this stuff off. Drop that guy off. These sticks can go. And I don't want to waste any time, so but we are so we are going to put our bedroll down. I'll fix my bedroll in a little bit. It's seventy nine percent, I think, is what it said. Go ahead. I don't have any water on me, but I think we're just still going to do this. Yeah, seatbelts were only a law in the 80s. Late 80s. Because we're talking about 1984, 1985. Had to be, oh, no. I, 1987. No, it was 1986. It was 1986. And then it was, it, 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 it was just, it was just in 1987 when I, uh, no, it was 1987. It had to be, had to be 87. Had to be. There's the dough, the buck's right here. Coming my direction too. All right, we're gonna wait for him to get on the other side of this. Eat. Stop, dude. I hit him. Now I gotta hit the female. He'll drop. I'm gonna make sure I did I bled him. I, I I saw the blood spatter. It said I hit him, but it doesn't always mean that. Okay, there's blood. We're good. Now we just gotta now we gotta stalk the female. He'll drop in a minute. I'll find him. This is all enclosed, so they're not going anywhere.
She's she's coming back my way. I think she's on the side of this tree. Hit her. Okay. So now we just gotta wait for them to to to, uh, to do their thing. Let's go ahead and okay, I, I can leave them be. Let's go ahead and grab we're gonna we're gonna grab materials now. They'll bleed out in a minute. As long as I don't do I, I don't get into some inventory or something like that and make them reset. We should be fine. Good old home base. Yep, yep. For sure, for sure. We'll have enough food to last us for a few days now. Cook up a bunch of birch bark tea. Bunch of water, then we'll have backup food. And if I, I, I probably won't get to level five cooking with these two deer, but we're then we're going fishing, and we're going to go ahead and, fit, and we're going to get our, our our level five cooking all the way up. We'll go to the back. We'll we'll start at one end of the cabins on the back side, and we'll strip down everything all the way to the the, the one that's by the bear cave, and I'll go fishing in the bear cave um, shed. By that time, I should have enough firewood to last. Actually, you know what? I said don't get into the inventory of anything, but I could use some extra firewood. Let's do this. Actually, wait. One of them just went down. I heard it. The, okay, the buck is right there. If you can see him. Um, Right side of the tree, right above my, uh, right above my, my, uh, my torch. There's his body. All right, let's go ahead and grab all this. It's only 1.9, but you know what? I'll do 1.1. Hey, Andrew, what's going on, man? Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, RMK, I'd say the same thing. As so long as I keep doing YouTube and YouTube keeps getting, or keeps growing, you know, even if it's little by little by little, you know, step by step, I, um, okay, I guess I will do this. I guess I'll get both of these. It's an hour and three minutes. By the way, I don't have a, I don't have a, um, a whetstone. I thought I did, but I don't. Okay, so that's empty. Okay. I'm gonna need some more feathers. Oh, there's another deer here. Shit. This is great. I can't let this, um, yeah, I can't let this, this time go to waste with these guys here. Uh, I'm going to just do the hour and 21 minutes. I hate to do it that way, but I don't want to waste my, my knife. I need my knife for making, um, making arrows. And I thought I had another, another, um, like I said, I thought I had another.
another uh, whetstone, but I don't. So, and I don't want to have to go make another knife and another hatchet. All right, let's go drop this stuff off. Get our arrow out of this guy on the way. Drink. Oh, I don't have any water on me either. Shit. There's my arrow. All right, we're going to have to... And the dough should be down, too. We may have to wait till morning to, to harvest them, though. I got to get warmed back up. What do you think we'll be able to harvest from the from the the uh, same thing from the cougar? Same thing. There's the there's the female right there. That's great. She's closer to the cave. That's amazing. Take that arrow. Oh, where are we at? Yeah, the ravine. We're back home, dude. Okay, 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 okay. I got four pieces of meat. That's great. And let's go ahead and let's drop the rabbit, too. I got to start a fire. We need some firewood. You know what? Never mind. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to boil water while I harvest this deer. That's a smart move. Actually, we'll go back here. We'll harvest this one first. I'll make a half gallon of water. And yes, I'm going to use the Travoy. Because we've got it on us. Why would I not? Well, RMK, if it doesn't fit now and you think it's going to fit later, that's great because that would, what that'll do for you is just periodically, once a month, just put on the damn suit. And then if it's got, gotten too tight for you, you know you need to diet. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be a good benchmark for you. If that's your goal, like, you know. All right, so we need just enough. We're going to start off with a stick. We'll just do it that way. That's fine. Six and one half doesn't do the other. Now, one piece of coal is an hour 22. Let's go ahead and let's plop down our water here. I'm just going to do one because I don't want, because if I put on the other one, it's just going to boil, it's just going to boil away. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to quarter this guy. Take an hour and 15 minutes with the hacksaw. Let's do it. Oh, I got to wait. God dang it, man. Come on. 52, I gotta wait for 50%. There we go. Alright, then we'll go ahead and we'll drink this water. Oh, 15 minutes still boiled. Carcass harvesting four, 40 minutes, and then drink that. 
We're going to lose out, guys. Time that pretty good. Still pretty slow. But then again, it's faster than if I was trying to carry everything and walking. to get the lady in the in the morning here all right let's go ahead and let's uh Drop it. Go ahead and get some. Um, some water working. Yeah, six and one half dozen to the other on that. Light a torch, but it's already 100%. So. an hour for each one of these so let's go ahead and go we're gonna do 1.1 at a time I might be able to get up to level five maybe we'll see I'll wait. Georgia. I mean, I guess I could. 
Because I'm going to need dinner anyway. That'll be fine. Yeah, 1.1 is the new micro. It's two hours. Last piece is smaller than 1.1. Yeah, like I saw I saw 0.6 there for a, or a couple times. I'm be doing this most of the night. I should probably make a coffee. minutes that's not going to burn my food so okay that'll be enough for tonight Okay, 28 minutes till boiled. So five times five is 25. So yeah, we're, that water will just be boiled when we're done. And that meat will just be cooked. We got just enough time. I don't remember, I mean, I, rem I remember the name, the Subaru Brat, but I don't, I, I, I never saw one. But I tell you what, though, they, they turn kids around in their car seats all the time these days, so, I mean, that makes sense. Okay. That's good for that. That's done. That's done. I might be able to cook all this up tonight, maybe. That's 12 minutes, though. That's done. That's done. Two hours, one hour. Let's grab a piece of coal. I don't know if I can get it all done or not. Let's see. Seven minutes till ready. Um, do one piece here. Now we're now we have to switch every time I cut. Because I've got the timing off. But it was because of that small piece. Piece out of that.
Eight minutes? Okay. Okay. All right, article. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Four minutes. Four minutes till melted. Okay. I can do the last bag right now. Eight minutes. I'm gonna do two pieces. That three minutes won't hurt that piece of meat. So. And then, and then that other one was 12 minutes anyway, so that'll get. Then we can be back on track for uh, for even even cooking. Okay, that's good. Right there, this here. It's 1.1. Point one. 32 minutes till boiled, 37 minutes till boiled, and we got almost two hours left here. That's good. Now let's go ahead and let's. So, I should be able to finish this whole thing here, this last bag. And then we can get uh, take the, the water off the fire, and then we'll just we'll cook, we'll cook two at a time, or four at a time. Was oh, it the last of it? That's it. All right, now we just got the rabbit. 11, 10, 20, and 25. Let's see what we can get out of this guy. 13 minutes, that's great. Perfect. Got my timing on, Kuja. You backseat driving again, bud. But thank you. Appreciate you looking out. Zippo or Bic and why? Depends on the situation. Uh, 
or it depends. Zippos last forever. You got to refill them though, and you got to carry you got to carry fuel with you all the time. That's a fire hazard. So if you don't care about that, then Zippo. But Vix last a lot longer per uh, a lot longer per full uh, being full and from start to finish. You get you know a couple thousand lights out of a out of a, a, a Vic, whereas you only get about I don't know, like maybe uh, 50 to 100 out of a out of Zippo depending on how much you fill it. I own both. I used to have be a Zippo uh, a Zippo aficionado back in the day, but uh, I don't I haven't owned a Zippo in years. But if I'm in the middle of the woods, for convenience sake, and I know I'm going to have to be out there for a long period of time, give me a bag of zip, a bag of Bix any any day of the week. And I'm talking Bix. I don't mean that. I don't mean the generic knockoffs either. 40 minutes, 36 minutes. We might have enough time here. Now right, we're almost done. This will work perfect. All right, we're almost done, guys. Thirty-one. Yeah, we'll barely get it, but we're gonna get it. Thirty twenty-one. I'm gonna have to add sticks. God dang it. Seven, twenty-eight, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and let's um, pull torches. Save these two sticks for later, and then that'll be done right now. And then that'll be done in twenty minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and let's add fuel. I'm gonna add an hour's worth. I'll pull torches if I need to. Hour 44. Because I'm gonna need to, I need the time to be able to bust this down. It's 25 minutes. It all counts. While we're waiting on this to cook, let's go ahead and see where I'm at on my cook level. We're right, we're getting really close, guys, to level five cooking. Screwed up. Um, let's do another herbal tea. Come on. And then we'll do a bannock. Later, pickle. 26 minutes. Make another bannock. Twenty-six, twenty-six. I'll see how close I am when I'm done with this bannock. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Yeah, we can do some coffee. Twelve minutes left. How close are we? No, we won't make it. We won't make it with what I've got. So we're not going to do it. I'm not going to bother. 
Take that torch, save the torch. That'll do it for tonight, guys. We are down to three quarters health too, but that's not great, but it's okay. Um, we're gonna, re I'm gonna go ahead and let's put this away. Let's go ahead and let's drop all our water. Let me drink first. Let's eat these rabbit. We've got the other deer still, guys. So don't worry about it. I'm going to eat all my bannock here. Fill ourselves up. By the time we get done cooking the other deer, we're going to get to level 5 cooking. And then it won't matter what condition my food's in. Yay! Mother suckers! Let's grab all this meat so it doesn't go bad on us. Right now, because I'm going to need to eat in the morning, too. too heavy. Shut up, Mackenzie! I'll tell you when it's too heavy. You don't have the mental fortitude to know when it's too heavy, Mackenzie. Yeah, it's almost it's getting light right now, so I can sleep most of the day. And then we'll go out there and we'll, we'll finish off that deer. I shouldn't even need a fire if if it's clear in the in the afternoon. We hope it's clear in the afternoon. All right, let's go ahead and let's drop all this meat off, man. I'm going to sleep, and then we'll deal with this rabbit. I'm going to keep it in my person so I don't forget. Actually, no. Yeah, I will. I'm going to sleep with the rabbit next to my body. All right. Nine hours. Let's go. Oh, shit, no. Damn it. I fucked up. No! I forgot to drink my tea! Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. Fine. Let's drink our birch bark tea. That'll help us for the rest of the day. Damn it. So it's late in the afternoon, and it's, it's, it, looks, it sounds like it's, it's pretty nice out there. So, I'm going to drop this rabbit. We'll deal with that rabbit in a minute. Let's go ahead and drink the last of our tea. Or one more, anyway. All right. That's six hours of... of, of oh, yeah, we've got one arrow down. I can totally quarter this deer. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's frozen though. I need. Ah, oh, god damn it! All right, hang on. We're gonna. I gotta grab a stick, and we. And then we gotta get. I'm gonna grab some coal. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna break down that other. Cause I need to get the. If the weather's still good when I'm done breaking it down, then we'll. Then we'll get. We'll get a limb. But right now, I'm just gonna use this. This piece of coal here. Come on. Cause I have to thaw it out. That's a problem. So I'm going to start a fire, then I'm going to go after a limb while it's thawing out. We're going to run out of fire striker here pretty quick. Later, RMK. Take it easy. That's an hour and 22 minutes. We're going to go over here. I'm going to bust this down for an hour. It'll last a little longer. Okay, that'll be fine. That's not enough to cook the whole, all, all, the, all this deer, but I don't need to cook all this deer. 17% frozen. Let's go ahead and let's quarter this guy. I only need to cook about half of this deer to get my, my, my cooking up. I 
Actually, you know what? Shit. Never mind. Put it out. I'm not going to do that. And the reason I'm not going to do that is because I still have to break down this deer. And I'm not going to do the the one point ones. I'm gonna just make I'm gonna make it faster. And we're just gonna because I'm so close. I don't think it's a, a problem. I'm good. Ninety two percent, huh? So we lost five percent, six percent. By dragging this thing just that little distance, that's not that's not ideal. But and we need a deer hide and a gut to fix it. Which isn't bad. Probably going over these rocks didn't didn't help. One percent, just that little baby distance there. All right, let's finish this rabbit off so I, I I don't lose the. Oh wait, let's drop that, drop those. Let's do this rabbit so I don't I don't lose the. Um... I'm just using my hand. Oh, I can't. I gotta use the hacksaw. It's fine because it's frozen. Hour and twelve minutes is fine. What do you mean you're back to three point uh, three meat pieces? How you how you how are you doing that? That's Sophia. Hang on, let me see something. Am I that close? I think I'm that close. Maybe. If I'm not, we're we're right there. I think we're good. I think I'm going to be fine. I don't think I need to micro this. I think we're going to be okay. I had to really I have to think I had to think about it, but I think we're going to be all right cuz that's going to be Eight more pieces. You know what? Never mind. We are going to micro it. Wait, what's this point one? How is that a thing? How is that a thing, point one? How is that a thing? Oh, yeah, Sophia. I see that now. I just did it by, before I even read your comment. Guys, 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 guys. Look at that, 0 0.01. That's how you micro it. You go all the way up and then come back down. I didn't see your comment, Pickle. I missed it. All right, we're gonna cut up this one piece like this and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to um I, I don't need I, all i need is this one piece that's it yeah it just takes a long time i didn't see the comments guys i missed it completely yeah we got we got we got deer nuggets now so they didn't take it out of the game they just changed the way you have to do it Okay. I didn't see it. I missed it. I was doing something else, I, I guess, when it went by. We have enough people talking now that I'm going to miss some things every now and again, guys. And that's great. I mean, I appreciate you guys talking in here. I mean, it's, it's what it's all about. But just understand, try to understand that... Um, 
I'm going to miss a comment or two here and there. Yeah, this is all I need. It's just this one. This one this one bag. And the rest of them can be bigger pieces. And I don't need to cook all these up. Oh, it's going to be instant, Kuja. I'm going to be able to... I'm, I'll get to level 5 right within... I won't, I won't have to waste all my firewood. We're going to be good. But once Hinterland sees this, they're going to they're going to they're going to change it. I guarantee you they're going to they're going to fix it. And I'm going to make a video on this today. So that people can do this in their games. I'm sure it's already been done. Yeah, but the whole point is to get it to level 5 cooking, Robbie. You only, you only have to eat those little baby pieces once. You always pile them in a corner somewhere and not worry about them. won't be able to fix it unless they start the running their weights off to the nearest whole number um okay i mean don't don't underestimate the power of a developer that's that's my that's my advice because i guarantee you they'll they'll find a way they'll code it in especially if you tell them they can't do that they won't do it they can't they don't know how well in a bit watch this hold my beer hold my coffee By the way, for all the, any of you that that that, um, that were watching my 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 Nightingale preview um, videos, I've got nine of them up on the channel right now. Uh, if you want to see what Nightingale's about before the game comes out on Tuesday, I think it's Tuesday on the twentieth, five days from now. Um, I was trying in in like episode eight. I was trying to uh, make some advanced picks, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. And somebody in my comment section made a comment. They said. You have to look down below the the item because it tells you what uh, what um, what. Uh, it's not an accoutrement. It's a it's a enhancement, or something. They call it something else. You have to have a it's a it's a, it's a little uh, knickknack that you put next to the station, and it'll tell you what knickknack you need to be able to make to get that blueprint. It opens up new blueprints when you put these little these little knickknacks around your your stations. Uh, and so, it, it, so it'll tell you what you need. And I had the knickknack; I just didn't have it next to my station. So, um, so I know now we know, and no one's half the battle, GI Joe. So, um, you know, the show that that knowledge rainbow that NBC used to put up there. Uh, so, uh, well, I'll be talking about that when it, when the when the game comes out. Um, they just they, that that one viewer saved me a lot of heartache for the future. So, all right, that's it. That's the last of the bag. Let's go ahead and let's cook this these these dogs up. I'm gonna get to level five cooking right now, right now, because I'm not I'm not messing around anymore. We got two pieces of coal here. Oh, three pieces of coal. Whatever. I only need two. Actually, I've also got that other firewood too. Let's go ahead and start this fire right here. Uh. Yeah. No, we'll use this. We'll use the fire striker one last time. Okay, that's an hour and 11. Let's go ahead and let's light a torch. Light the other one. I should be able to do this in an hour. Assuming that this fire is going to let me light it. 
The fire knows what I'm doing. It knows what I'm doing. By the way, I don't know that it's going to be as good as The Long Dark, but I have a feeling that Nightingale is going to be one of those games that's going to be up there uh, in playability um, for this next year, maybe the next two years. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, God dang it. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. We're not playing this game. We're dropping all of these. Hopefully they're not too they're not too quick quick to heat up. Hopefully that's far enough away. Actually, I'm gonna move these. I don't trust them. They're gonna burn away. I'll lose them. We don't want that. All right, let's cook these fuck these, these suckers up. This can's got to go too. This is not. I swear to God, we got. There we go. Now we should be good. Now I've got 51 minutes left. Three minutes, guys. Actually, let's do this. Let's do it this way. This is going to be faster. There we go. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll be able to get all these done. If I had a third fire going, we we could we could just burn this out, but it's, it'll be fine. Three minutes is three minutes. I can just cook. I can just pick this up. This is much better. Much better. There it is. Level five cooking, ladies and gentlemen. We have achieved balance in the world. Cook all the rest of this up, and this is what we're having for dinner. Celebratory baby, baby, uh, uh, venison sliders without the bun. Got it, got it. We, we're not going to get level five archery or, um, the, or today, but I thought I was going to, but we're not going to. That's okay. This is better than level five archery. All right. 19 minutes, 28 minutes. Grab that, grab this, take the torch. Um, say the same, take that torch, put that out. Take this torch, put that out. And now let's eat, drink, and be merry. For tomorrow we may have blizzard. All right, I gotta do that in a minute. Let's go ahead and eat this. I'm just gonna eat my fill because we can. 66 calories at a time. Oh, level five cooking, man. Bannock bun, yeah, dude. All right. With a peach chutney. It's 
here is starting to slow me down. Alright, then we're going to bust these up. I'm going to leave the raw meat over there. Because we got plenty of food. We have plenty of food now. For a while. I mean, it's not going to... It's not It's not a month's worth of, worth of food. But it's a couple of weeks worth of food. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's like, you know... A lot of people, they, they make, you know, they, they take the time to make jellies and jams. I'm like, why don't you just make a chutney? It's the same thing, except it, 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 it doesn't have the gelatin in it, and it, and it doesn't, it's not going it, to, it, it won't last as long, but if it's any good, you're going to eat it anyway before it starts to mold on you. I did realize, uh, I, I think I found the balance of making bread in my house, too, because, um, the the not this last batch of bread but the batch of bread before i got down to the last piece and mold had just started to creep on the bread just barely but you know and this is what i i tell i tell the wife i'm like look i'm gonna keep making bread for the house because um because she's eating it so she likes it so and i'm like i'm like look the stuff you buy in the store has so many preservatives to keep it on the shelf for a long period of time x stuff can't be healthy for us so i'm just gonna make my own bread Got five ingredients. And there's no, in, there's no, um, there's no, what you call it. Um, there's no preservatives in it. And if we're going to eat it that fast anyway. I mean, granted, it takes me. I mean, let's see. To, to mix the ingredients takes me about 20 minutes. Then, uh, then I got to let it rise for an hour and a half. And then I got to punch it down shape it into loaves and let it and then let it rise for another hour and a half so that's three hours and 20 minutes and then it takes about 45 minutes to to cook so it takes about it takes about four hours for me to from start to finish to make a loaf of bread then you got to let it sit though and let it cool before you can slice into it so i mean yeah it's about a five hour process you got your first work shift in a kitchen mr apologies congratulations thank you for that super chat what are you doing you know, I worked in restaurants for like 30 some odd years. What do you, what do you, what's your first sh work shift in the kitchen? Are you dishwasher? Are you prep? Are you, are you, uh, what are you doing? Dude, I know you're not on the line just yet because they, they got to train you. But what, so what are you, what are you training to be? And what kind of kitchen are we talking about? Are we talking about diner? Are we talking about a bistro? Are we talking about a, a lodge? Are we talking about, you know, a, a golf club or a go golf course? What, what are we talking about here? Give us some details. I'm kind of excited for you. I don't I can't give you tips unless I know what you're doing. You need to make a sourdough starter. My sourdough starter uh, went to mold and I and I it pissed me off. That's why you guys never got a sour I uh, never got a sourdough um, uh, video or a bunch of sourdough videos because my sourdough died on me. It, it went bad. And I'm bummed about it. All right, so we are good to go guys. I'm going to go ahead and um, sleep for 9 hours if it'll let me. I think. Pretty sure. It's a prison kitchen. You you got a job at a prison? Dude, that's a hard job to get. My buddy works for the... Or my buddy I used to work at, in, at this uh, this Mediterranean restaurant. Um, he's He was a sous chef. And he actually got a job at, at the jail. Make it, and he's he runs the jail kitchen right now. So... Um, yeah, that's, that's a, that's a really good gig. Just don't piss off the prisoners. Don't piss off. Yeah. Don't, don't piss off the prisoners. Just do what your boss says. Listen to your boss because they, even though they, they, they've got inmates working in the kitchen and they want to keep their, their job. Cause I've been in jail and you want to keep your job. If they give you a job, it gets you out of the cell and it gets you, uh, it gets you a little bit of fresh air kind of. So they're not going to mess with you too much, but um, but just whatever you do, if you have any issues with the prisoners, make sure you go straight to your boss immediately. Okay, don't worry about being called a narc. Don't be a be, don't worry about, be, be, about being called a rat because you are you are um, you're a free man. So yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, you're a prison guard for five years. Oh, you know that. I didn't know you're a prison guard. So you already know that shit, dude. You already got you already got it. 
you've got that down, dude. If you were a prison guard for five years, never mind. So, yeah, just make sure your food doesn't suck. That's the, um, look, figure out, figure out what the, what, what the, 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 the prisoner's favorite meal is. Like for us, when I was in jail, it was Thursday's B&G's, bar, uh, biscuits and gravy. So, uh, so and, and, and if they screwed up the biscuits and gravy, people got pissed. May, find the, the day that where you're cooking the thing that they like the best and do, do your best at it. Do your best at it. There's no ma inmates in the kitchen? Really? Oh, then you don't have to worry about it. In jail, they, they, they allow, they allow um, uh, for, for that to, to be a thing. So, all right, guys. Do I have any, do I have any cloth? We've got two pieces. I'm going to fix my bedroll. 68%. Oh, I, I need ptarmigan down. No. We got to go shoot a rabbit. I mean, shoot a, shoot a chicken. We got to shoot a chicken. God damn it. Hang on. I've got eight feathers. How many feathers does it take to make uh, fire hardened? It takes five, right? And I need five. I need four more sticks. All right. We're going to go. Let's go get some firewood. What time is it? It's still morning. Let's get some sticks right quick. How heavy? I feel heavy. Why do I feel heavy? Because I'm two pounds from being heavy. What's going on here? Let's drop. That's what I'm doing. Karabi. Chat lag, though. Go poop in a corner. Oz poop. We have four or three. We got four. So I've got four deer hides here. That's enough for a pair of, a pair of pants. my venison hey man I'm gonna make fun of Oz while he's gone because he's he, he's abandoned us to go help some other schmuck so when he comes back I'm gonna give him shit oh, I gotta go help my friend okay go help your friend they're going to give you a hard time when you come back. Wait, did I carry my bedroll with me? I did. Okay, good. Do I have my pots and pans with me? No. That's my plan, Robbie. Great minds think alike. Did I have snares over here? I don't remember if I made snares this 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 round or not. Oh, let me grab all my teas, man. Now I'm overburdened again. Okay. Oh, because I have all these arrows. That didn't help. This Travoy too. I think I'm going to drop this Travoy. Because I'm not, I don't, you know what though? I could get a bear, but I don't really need a bear, do I? Right now. We got to figure out what we're going to do, guys. I got to, should we go to, should we go to Coastal Highway and, and do a fishing trip? Should we do that? I'm feeling like we should probably do that. Actually, what I'm going to do. We're going to go make some more arrows. Give me too much deer meat. What are you talking about?
What do you mean I'm scatterbrained today? I'm focused. What are you talking about, Karabi? Why are you giving me a hard time? Why well, you gotta shake that tree, man? There's a bear up in that tree. You don't wanna shake that tree. Reasses. Go back and reasses. No, I get it. I know what you said. No, I made it like two steps and realized I'm, I'm always checking my stuff when I leave. Scatterbrain. Talking to you guys. My attention is divided, which is what a lot of times is one of the reasons why I miss stuff and also why I um, why I die because I'm talking to chat instead of playing the video game. But then if I don't talk to you guys, you feel neglected. Like, oh, you don't love us anymore. Actually, let me just go right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, I don't need those. So let's tear down... Let's harvest the other ones first. And... It takes five minutes to harvest an arrow. Okay. Oh, I've got a... This is why I'm so heavy, because I've got all these damn... These damn torches on me. I have four 100% arrows. I don't care about that. That's fine. And I don't need this many arrows. I just don't. I don't mean... Somebody once upon a time, a long time ago, said, You only need like six arrows. It's not true. But I don't need 17. I don't need that many. Um, so we're going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to place... I'll keep 10. That's three pounds. All right. 11 pounds. Hmm. This will give me six hours of fish time and enough time to, to cook whatever I catch. You do love attention? <laughs> well, it's kind of my job as an entertainer to, to, uh, to do that for you guys, you know? To keep you guys in conversation and keep you, your, your thoughts, you know, provoked and, and, um, we only got one arrow down. I'm going to go grab some food and some water right quick, especially some water. I think I have water at, um, at camp office, but I'm just going to run right back here right quick. So this is my starter firewood for our fishing session. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
Now that we've got level 5 cooking, I don't have to worry about how long it lasts. How long the fish lasts. Or any food, really. Well, McKenzie can make bullets, fishing tackle, and etc. But it's, a spear's too difficult for him to, uh, to, to, to craft. Yeah, well, they had a bear, a bear spear in the game before. Um, I don't think it's in the game anymore, is it? They took it out? Okay, we got three pounds leeway. Let's eat this. Is it still in story mode? All right, that's good. Point zero two gallons. Well, if you're able to, to fight the bear with the spear, you should be able to fight the moose with the spear, too. The deer, too, you should be able to chuck that spear at the deer. I mean, there are many, 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 many video games where they have a spear. And they and the I, I know that developers are good enough coders to, to put that in the game. But why they haven't, I don't know. I don't know. Two OP for sandbox. I mean, the thing would weigh like six, seven pounds. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to look at that map either. Where do you put it, Karabi? I know it's on Discord, but where do you put it? The map. What are you talking about? Long dark channel. Okay, cool. Tom Petty was—he made a deal with the devil. That guy. I'm—I'm I'm convinced of it. Or a demon, or something. He made—he made a—he made, made a pact with a with a with a, a. I don't know about a higher power, but a different power. Because, come on, man. Tom Petty just wouldn't fly in, in, in this day and age, I don't think. He's known as a classic artist, but... He had to have known somebody who knew somebody to, for him to get his shot. The songs weren't bad. He said he did. He made a deal with the devil. I believe it. 100%. Sorry man, we're only on this we're we're only here around for for a very very short time. I'm not I'm not uh I'm not down for that myself. I mean, you know, I, everybody can do their their own thing, but Talking about a couple of decades worth of worth of fame and fortune for an eternity? Nah, not a good trade. 
I see you, bud. I saw you long before I came up on you. The original Stan, Stan the movie? Really? I don't remember. Isn't that with the, the dude that played uh, in the Lawnmower Man? Or Lawnmower Man 2? God, those were some 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 messed up. Oh, hang on, let me grab the. Oh, what? No, nope, let me do this. I need feathers. Then they redid the stand. I think they're going to do redo the stand again. Oh, look at this noise. Look at this noise. You are a hammer. I may as well take that with me. We may as well carry it to the camp office. I guess we know there's a new spot for the, for the hammer. I've never seen the hammer here, but we're going to start checking now. Postman with Kevin Costner? I had never seen that movie. Yeah, but I'm not carrying a, a hammer around, Karabi. Not when I still have lockers to open and trunks to pop. We'll just take the, and there's enough, there's enough of those um, pry bars laying around that I can, I can refresh my pry bar every now and again. Sinesse? Okay, if you say so. It's been so many years since I've seen it. And I've seen so many TV shows and movies in, in my life. I'm lucky I, rem I can give you references so you can figure out who I'm talking about. I don't remember their names. It's all, it's all about money, man. It's all about money. I didn't need this Travoy either. Um, although, you know what I might do? I might drop the hammer and the Travoy back at that back cabin. We might do that. Potatoes, baby. You're a potato. Shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. Okay, no water here. I got that book, though. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's... So many of those 80s and 90s and aughts actors you just never see. Not like Mel Gibson, boy. That, that old son of a bitch, he keeps coming back. Not Mel Gibson, I'm sorry. Mel Brooks. My bad. Mel Brooks. Just when I thought Mel Brooks died, he comes back with another movie of some kind. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, any of you comic book fans out there, 
The Disney did release the um, did release the um, the lineup for the Fantastic Four yesterday, and guess who's playing Reed Richards? It is Pedro Pascal. Because why would they not go with somebody that they uh, that they've been working with for the last decade almost uh, between. His success with The Mandalorian and with The Last of Us, and that uh, and that that um, that Nicolas Cage movie, those three right there, has pretty much earned him a golden ticket in Hollywood right now. He hasn't gotten himself into trouble like a lot of a lot of actors have. The man's a genius. Uh, I don't know if he, I mean he's a funny guy. You're talking about Mel Brooks, yeah. He's a funny guy, but he got in early in Hollywood. Like, I mean, and he he had he had a a genre that hadn't been tapped yet, and he found himself a niche, and he and he re, and he rolled with it, and he found himself he surrounded himself with a bunch of funny people. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go in here. Or do I want to go there? I think I'm just gonna go here. I think this is where we're gonna we're gonna call the uh, we're gonna call this our fishing shack because it's right there next to the cabin. I'm gonna have to walk there anyway once I once I uh, get done in the morning. And I can walk from there to here and get get breakfast and walk back again without getting too cold. That'll be fine. Hey, look at this! Another flare. I needed an extra backup flare too. I'll take that for the leather. Isn't scurvy a problem with uh, in interloper runs? Yeah, it sure is. I wish they had, we had a, a way of, of measuring it, but we don't, I don't think. All right, let's go ahead and let's go with matches. What, Karabi, you don't like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Rick, Rick Moranis got out when, when the getting was good, too. They are going to make a remake of Gremlins. They're bringing back the original cast, too, I think. Okay. Fishing line snapped. We're going to lose a little health because we're going to be exhausted, but that's okay. No. It's not too bad because I can't use it, Coom, because it was spoiled. It doesn't last that long. So it's three hours. So we doubled. Oh, our fire starting got went up. That's why we get we get double the amount. So I can get another six hours out of this. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Let's go ahead and let's see how much time I've got here of my fuel. It's four hours. So that's eight hours. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's um. 
I, I'm not, I don't disagree with you about, about making uh, fishing bait. I think we're going to do that. Okay. We might be okay. There's a bass. We'll sleep most of the day. Okay, another bass. Fishing what? We got we got fish and something three. All right, so I've got an hour twenty one left. Let's go ahead and place a um, pan here. We're gonna pan, pan fry some fish. Let's go ahead and cook up that bass first. Drink some water. Eat that. Cook the other one, that'll get me all the way up. There we go. We're going to go back inside over here and we're going to make water over there. do and it's 12 minutes can I cook the last one we will be able to as soon as I bust down a couple of these oh I got a few more um, shoot maybe we won't I'm not giving up those shit um, let me drop this fish. I'm going to go back in here. I'm super exhausted, but... Hopefully there's some firewood in here. I can get there and back before. You know, let's drink a cup of coffee. There we go. There it is. That's what I needed. I didn't know. I had never heard of a burbot before. I, I have no idea what that is. I've never seen one, never heard of one. Now we can start eating wolves, though. That's good. Oh, one minute left, yo. It gives me an hour. Cook time, kind of. It might be enough to get these two fish cooked, maybe. Yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, now we've got some, we got fish for a couple of days now. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Let's eat and drink another cup of coffee to get us where we got to go. And let's go ahead and let's start the fire with the pot belly stove. Get out of here before all the wolves show up, because they're gonna. Because I'm a stinky fella. I smell like fish. Okay, guys. So we're gonna get to the cabin here, and I'm gonna. As soon as I step in the door, we're gonna. This is gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna let you guys know that at 11, uh, right now it's 9:22 my time. 
So in an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to be going live with some more Enshrouded. I went ahead and I made, I found tin last night in my off camera. I made bronze bars um, and I also got the, um, I've got the tanning bench as well. I went and got that on my own. You guys didn't see it. I apologize, but I needed to get that done to expedite today's video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, we're going to make bronze armor. I've already got bronze, a bronze pickaxe and a bronze axe. And I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with how fast you can get, um, you can get, uh, ore out of the, the sites with your bronze tools. So we're going to we're going into the bronze age now and then I'm going to pick up those uh, those new quests from our people and we're going to be doing those new quests in the next video. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're moving into the bronze age um, here in about an hour and a half on Enshrouded. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I got just got to get inside. Hopefully I don't have a wolf on my on my front. Not that it really matters. I don't think I'm going to get I think it's going to be a big deal. We've got food for a few days now. Uh, tell me what you think you want me to do in the next episode. I'm probably going to go hunt some ptarmigan. Um, let me go ahead. I don't even need to put this food uh, outside anymore because I have level 5 cooking. So we're just going to take this up here. Uh, actually, it'll put me at the front door tomorrow because that's where it saved the game. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this out. I am going to sleep for an hour just to make sure that... Uh, I have what I need for tomorrow. I'll make sure it saves the game. All right, guys, thank you very much for coming in. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in about an hour and a half, guys, okay? All right, we'll see you then. All right, bye-bye.